Hey guys, I'm Saurav and in this video, I'm going to talk about histogram. So in a lot of my videos, I talk about histogram and why I use histogram to get a perfect exposure. But what is exactly histogram? How to use it and why is it so important to get perfect exposure? These are the questions I will be answering in this particular video. So starting with the first question, what is exactly histogram? You will see a rectangular box. Let's divide it into X axis and Y axis. The X axis actually represents the light levels. So starting from left to right, it goes like this. Black, shadows, midtones, highlights and whites. So it represents 0 to 100% brightness. 0% brightness is black and 100% brightness is pure white. It is also represented in the numbers like from 0 to 255. Don't be confused. Again, 0 is simple black and 255 is pure white. So histogram is just a bar graph that is going to give you much more details about the exposure that you have captured. The y-axis on the other hand represents the number of pixels that are present in that particular brightness level. Like for example, in this image, you can see there are lots of darks and shadows. So you will see the spike of the pixels or the graph is towards the left side of the histogram. Same if you have a lot of highlights and whites in your image, the spike will be towards the right side of the histogram. I hope you understood what histogram is, but why is it so important? Whenever you're taking an image or whenever you're capturing a particular video, you're usually seeing the camera's LCD screen. Now that is not always right. There are two main reasons for it. One is the camera's LCD brightness. So if the camera's LCD brightness is more and if you have underexposed the image, you will still feel that's fine because the brightness of the LCD is telling you that you have captured a perfect exposure. The other reason is the ambient light. So if you're shooting under harsh sunlight, you won't be able to see the LCD properly. If you're shooting under the low light conditions, you might feel that the LCD screen is too bright. And because of this, relying on the camera's LCD screen for the exposure is not correct. And that is where histogram is going to help you. No matter what ambient light you're shooting in, no matter what is the brightness of your LCD, histogram is not going to change. So I hope you understood what histogram is and why is it so important. But the main point, how to use it. So when you take an image, you might be using aperture priority, shutter priority or manual mode and you take the image according to the light meter of your camera. Then check the histogram of that particular image. Check that you're not clipping anything. What do I mean by clipping? So as I said, the histogram goes from 0 to 255. If you actually underexpose a lot, you might go beyond zero. That is the negative side. Anything that touches zero is completely black. And if you're going beyond 255, or even if you're touching the right part of the histogram, it's completely white pixels. Now, if you have clipped the highlights, doesn't matter if you're shooting in draw, you cannot bring them back in post-processing. So it is extremely important to see that you're not clipping anything. If the highlight is not very important, then maybe it's fine. But if you want details in highlights, make sure you're not clipping and make sure you're properly in the range. So maybe if you see the histogram is towards the left side, try overexposing the shot. Similarly, if the histogram is towards the right side, try underexposing the shot. But that doesn't mean that there is a perfect histogram. A lot of people think that the spike in the middle and the evenly spread histogram is a perfect histogram. That is not true. It all depends upon the situations and the kind of image you want. Like in this example, you can see this image contains a lot of darks and shadows and that is why the histogram will be towards the left side. If you're overexposing the shot, it just means that you're going to lose details in the brighter parts of the image. Same goes when you're shooting something that contains a lot of highlights and whites. So don't think that there is a perfect histogram. It all depends upon the conditions. So make sure you're not clipping anything and don't go behind perfect histogram. There's no such thing as I said before. Just make sure you're not clipping anything and you're getting a right exposure. So this is how you use a histogram. It's not very difficult. In the beginning, it might be a bit overwhelming seeing all the numbers, all the graphs, but it is very easy. Just keep practicing and you will get used to it. And once you get used to histogram, you will never make a mistake and you will always get the right exposure. I hope this video helped you and if it did, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what? Go and subscribe. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.